my dear students i welcome you all i am mohammad shahinul islam assistant teacher horimhan government high school sabai nawabganj my dear students i am going to take an english class for the students of class 9 and 10 and my class is english first paper look at the picture what do you see where do you find this kind of boat can you answer yes try we can find this kind of boat generally in the village areas why does the boatman carry passengers across the river the boatman carries passengers across the river so that the people can go to the other other area of the river why do people use country boat people use country boats for their communication or go to bazaar or go to market to sell and buy their daily necessary things okay my dear students so our today's lesson is the ferry boat unit four lesson one okay learning outcomes by the end of the lessons the students will be able to ask and tell about problems read the passages and solve mcq questions answer questions okay my dear students in this in this in this class i am not going to explain all the lines of the passages i will just show you the images and explain some difficult sentences for your better understanding okay so on a so on a weekly bazaar day people were coming back with their shopping bags and baskets in hands on shoulders and heads before this part there were <coughs> there were some sentences like is there anybody here who has ever crossed the river by a country boat i have teacher said zamil and i clearly remember what happened in that journey so these are the easy sentences and i am not explaining those sentences okay so on a weekly bazaar day people are coming back with their shopping bags and baskets in hands and shoulders and heads so people uh, after coming from bazaar they were entering into the boat it was just after sunset the weather was getting bad the wind started blowing from the northwest black clouds were moving fast in the sky so this was the scenery so it was sunset wind started blowing from the northwest that means it was going that means a terrible storm is going to arise so after that the boat shouted the boatman shouted no more no more please wait but nobody listened to him when the boat was overcrowded the boatman shouted don't get into my boat no more passenger no more passenger but nobody listened to him so boat the boat sank uh, thank god there were no casualties but some of the passengers lost their goods what they were carrying with them so as a result the boat sank in the middle of the river <coughs> causing a great loss to the passengers but it was not a terrible accident only the passenger lost their goods which they had with them 
so now <coughs> we have read the passage especially the uh, significant part of the passages and now we will look at the typical word look at the word passengers so passengers means travelers people who travel by transport or vehicle look at the sentence passengers are sitting on the boat <coughs> next overcrowded so overcrowded means fill to the capacity and a sentence the ferry boat was overcrowded okay next casualties so casualties means fatalities there were no casualties next trip trip means journey jamil was waiting for the next trip sunset that means day's end it was just after sunset now we have some mcq questions let us see those questions read the text again and choose the best answer from the alternatives number one a ferry boat was playing playing in the river here playing means playing with their boats sinking in the river traveling a long route traveling along <coughs> a route or waiting for passengers so traveling along a route here playing means <coughs> playing with other boats sinking in the river traveling along a route waiting for passengers let us see the answer traveling along a route okay question number two why was everybody trying to get into the boat because it was a weekly bazaar day after sunset no ferry would play on the play on play on the river everybody had shopping bag with them it was going to be dark and stormy night so which will be the answer option number d <clears throat> it was going to be dark and stormy evening next question number three The boatman requested the people to wait because his boat was very small. The boat had already too many people. There were other boats they could take. It he would not ferry people with bags and basket. So which option will be correct? Let us take the answer. The boat had already too many people. Now question number four. With too many people on board, the boat sank. Here the phrase on board means on the boat, on the wooden board, outside the boat, on the notice board. So which option is correct? Option number A, on the board. Number 5. There were no casualties. The statement tells us that nobody died. Nobody was rescued, nobody ac accepted their fate, nobody lost anything. So, which option is correct? Try to answer. Okay, let us check. 
nobody died. Question number six and the last MCQ question. The boat was overcrowded. Here, overcrowded means the people were quarreling on the boat. The boat was unable to carry any more people. The boat did not like a crowd. People were sitting on their boats, bamboo boat hood. So, which option is correct? Let us see. The boat was unable to carry any more people. So, my dear students, we have looked at the six MCQ questions. Now, let us see. So, you can see an image of a home. So, you have easily guessed that I am going to give you a homework. So, let us see what is the homework today. This is the homework. Write answers to these questions. So, the, in your book, you will see that three questions. And you will write answers to these questions at home. And while our school reopens, we will solve these answers. And I will check your answers. Why did some people have little or no patience when the ferry boat was in danger of sinking? No more, no more. Please wait. Who said this? Explain in two or three sentences. And number three, answer the questions below. If we have too many passengers at a bus or train station, what may happen? And number B, if we have too many people in a village, town or city, what will happen? So, these are the questions that you will answer at home. So, my dear student, no more today. Thank you very much. Stay at home, stay safe and read at home. Do not go out. Don't go outside of home without any purpose. In case of emergency, if you go out, just put on mask and return home as quickly as possible. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.